Hi, it's Joshua coming to you again from here in Abbotsford, British Columbia. And uh, it's Tuesday, a few days before Christmas. I've just finished watching the trailer from the uh, Thrive documentary. And uh, you really have to watch this. You know, it's going viral on the internet, but it explains a very simple solution to how the world's energy needs can be met and uh, you know it talks about a toroidal, toroidal, tor, toroid field being generated that, would, that, that we all have uh, microscopic black holes in our makeup and you know the universe has black holes and all that and that, that seems to be the uh, common de denominator as far as the way everything in <coughs> and uh, here on the earth and in space works and uh, it talks about if this toroidal field, if it's in resonance, then it's in perfect harmony where it's uh, sustainable. It actually sustains itself in pulling the energy out of the vacuum. And uh, the reason I'm, uh, I'm doing this uh, one or two part uh, presentation to upload to YouTube uh, has to do with uh, my past research, seven years research on the Joe Pipe technology where, in fact, I have uh, witnessed firsthand uh, where the Joe pipe went from a normal operation to, to create a uh, uh, convert third state matter into four state energy. You know, I've seen it, I witnessed it. You now I've seen copper melt titanium, I, you know, I've seen copper sheared by plasma light uh, traveling around it. Uh, I've seen where I had a, a spark plug socket plugged into a, into a brick and uh, for some apparent reason uh, the socket instantly went uh, uh, thermally invisible where you could actually look right through it and, and, and see uh, enormous uh, uh, plasma energy being developed right in the, in the metal but the metal wasn't melting it actually went into the thermal co uh, conductive state and uh, as it happened, you know, I shut everything down and when I looked inside the brick of this uh, K2300 fire brick, it was uh, super white, just like sun shining on, uh, on, on the snow and on, on, on the prairies in the daytime. It was absolutely remarkable to see uh, where the inside glow went from a light crimson uh, red to, to super white within a split second. And I've seen many of these anomalies, this particular anomaly uh, has been randomly, randomly duplicated, and uh, having heard about this uh, Thrive and his presentation on these toroidal fields of how the energy works, you know, you got the energy uh, coming up to the center, and it goes around, and and it has a three three dimensional field energy, and I believe that I, you know, when these when the Joule pipe went quantum it actually developed this field energy and uh, I believe the missing component that I've been looking for, the, the, the trigger effect has to do with uh, uh, thermocouplers where you have a, say for example if you had a piece of copper plugged into a, a piece of steel you have, you know, the copper would produce your, your, your positive ion field, the, the top of the toroid and the, the bottom would uh, produce the uh, negative field energy uh, <clears throat> so you'd have one that would be hot the exhaust of the going up the uh, copper tube of the Joe pipe you know it creates a, a vast potential difference between the top and the, and the, and the black pipe that would be your uh, your air and your fuel feed and, and looking back I can see these uh, commonalities in, in all the tests that, that went quantum so I believe that uh, this is the trigger that, that you have to create a thermal uh, coupler that uh, to, to where, you, where you heat up the junction point between the, the copper and the metal that actually create, creates the, the positive and the, the negative ion flow. So you have a, a like an electrostatic pump that's going around like this. And uh, you know you have a south pole, you have a north pole, you have a hot and a cold, you have a plus and a minus. And uh, 
we just have to, you know, get this out because I believe it's really critical. It's very important. And uh, it wouldn't take much to actually prove my theory. And, but what do you do when you actually, you know, if I put together a drill pipe assembly in the form of a thermal conductor or a, a thermal coupler now that I understand it? You know, I could uh, put it together in, in a vertical test because it, it would parallel with the, uh, the north and south fields. And the, the testing that I'd done, it, it, it actually was a horizontal testing, so maybe the like the fields weren't perfectly lined up. And just to give you an example, you know, I was used a like a five eighths by four inch copper uh, pipe, and I was running uh, alcohol uh, vapor through it. And when it went quantum, it scared the crap out of me. And uh, you know, I was producing uh, a new plasma species like this, and the copper went superconductive. Looking back, I know it. That's what happened, and so you know, I turned on my water flush, you know, I put water vapor through it, and I shut off, shut off the alcohol, and it still burnt in the superconductive state for uh, you know a full ten seconds, just on very very light uh, water vapor going into it, you know, creating you know like a thousand amp output, whatever it's going to be, but you know, definitely in the in the plasma state, and uh, now that I understand. I knew at the time that I was creating some kind of wormhole effect, but you know, no one seems to believe you. But now that I've had a chance to listen to the science documentary, it, it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. So I may be on the edge of uh, something that's uh, totally out there, but it's provable now that I have means to be able to to explain the toroidal field and where. It, where the heat travels up like that and comes down and it cools, so it have like a like a heating and a cooling effect. You know, I'm not, I don't have no deep numbers behind my name or nothing like that. I just go by intuition, and that's how I discovered all this, like the Joe Pipe technology seven years ago. And I believe that, you know, if I can replicate it, it would be the number one discovery of this century. That would be. Uh, work perfectly in harmony to, to produce energy. You could you could run it on alcohol or something like that, and none where you're not using uh, uh, fuels out of the earth, just, just alcohol, and that that will supply energy for the entire building at the same time as not getting off, giving off any kind of negative electrical energy. That it would actually be compatible to to uh, to human life and life around it. Okay, I, I, I'm going to get this uploaded. Uh, this is critical, but I sure like your comments back on it. Uh, please go back and, and listen to the Thrive documentary, and uh, and you'll be able to get an under, more of an understanding of what I'm trying to relate. But I believe I have found the missing key that I may be able to duplicate these anomalies that I've seen in the past now that I have an understanding of how the energy flow works. You know, just a matter of getting the, <coughs> the, the copper and the iron in the thermal conductor, you know, getting it tweaked to where it's uh, even, and that actually creates your, your resonant uh, field of energy. Okay, uh, I'm here for any questions or comments, and for any of you out there.